Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with AI path. In this video, we will see RPA challenge, solution of RPA challenge. Let's open AI path studio. Create a process RP challenge. Description is solution of RPA challenge. Now let's open the RPA challenge website. Yeah, so this is the uh, RPA challenge website. The goal of this challenge is to create a workflow that will input data from a spreadsheet into the form field on the screen. So we have to fill up the data in the form and we have to pick up the data from the Excel sheet. You can download Excel sheet from download Excel here. The second point that we need to take care is the field will be change position on the screen after every submission. So if suppose you first name now in this screen first name is on a first position when you put first name and then submit then the first name location get changed. So UI is completely dynamic. Yeah, so we have to develop the solution so our workflow will not get break. So I have downloaded already Excel sheet. So I'll just copy that Excel sheet and put into the the workflow that process that we have created. Now let's create a new workflow, new sequence. RPA challenge solution first. The sequence is getting created. Now we will move on to the activity panel, then we'll type read range activity. So we'll pick up the read range activity under system file workbook and then read range. We will double click on it and then the activity gets added into the sequence. We will provide the path. Of the Excel sheet, then sheet name. Let's open the challenge.xls sheet. The sheet name is sheet first. So we have put up here sheet first. We'll remove this. If we remove this, then this will read the data from the complete. Excel sheet. Now next activity that we will be used here for each row. So this activity will help to read the data from each row which is present in the Excel sheet. So before that we have to create a variable here for read range activity which will be create by pressing control K 
then we will create a variable like excel data that variable is getting created we can see in this panel variable panel variable we have created and that is something data table variable and the scope of this variable is this workflow now we'll see for each row in excel data table whatever variable we have created for read excel that we will put here so in this activity it will read each row whatever present in the particular variable now next activity that we will be put type into this activity will help us to type into the field we will indicate it on screen first name sorry email address then we'll open the UI Explorer as we can see the ID is dynamic so in, in every iteration or every page load that ID gets changed so we will indicate and make it stable with the help of indicate anchor so this field is email So the, we have uh, associated that particular field with this anchor and we'll remove this, we'll validate it. We'll see with click on highlight, it will highlight the text box and we will save it. Yeah. So the first field we have Now we will put, we will fetch the value from the Excel. For that, this email field, we will fetch the value from the Excel email column. So for that, we will put row bracket double quote email field, whatever column name is there dot to string it will convert into the string so this is the first field that we have done we will click it as similar type as true similarly we will do for all these fields which is present on the form that is address last name rolling company phone number first name company name so we will put the type into activity now our second field would be address similarly we will do you can click here and then open in UI Explorer or otherwise you can select this activity and you can click here open UI launch UI Explorer as well so we will click and open in UI Explorer to associate the anchor to that particular field because that field is dynamic we'll remove this first and then yeah we will validate this yes it is green again we will put value row double quote then our column name is address we'll copy that column name again to string that is converted value into the string we'll make similar type is true similarly we'll do for others as well 
last name. Then we indicate as an anchor, anchor, last name. We'll remove this dynamic ID. Click on save. Row. Double column, colon. Last name. Posting. We'll make simulate types two. Similarly, for rolling company, Validate it. Save. Roll in company. We'll copy the column name again. Dot to string. Save. Again, we'll fill the value row phone number. We'll copy the column name and then to string, which will convert those value into the string. Again, we'll make it as similar to type as true. Another field first name that open in UI Explorer. First name. Save row. Let me copy the first name dot to string. Last, last field that is company name. on save again we'll provide the value row company name dot to string and then click on button Is submit button ok 
okay that's it that our workflow has been created now save it close the open excel and let's run this workflow Great, it is putting the picking the value from the Excel and filling the form and click on the submit button. So this is picking each row. So there is a 10 records present in the Excel file, hence it is executing at 10 times. Yeah, that's it. Execution done successfully. Yes, it is filled 70 out of 70 fields in six seconds. Yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.